on to another video about George's shed and today we're going to be replacing the CPU in this laptop. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is uh, remove um, on this laptop uh, these three screws uh, to access uh, this panel. Um, but before that, it's a good idea to take the battery out and make sure it's uh, not connected to power. So once those are undone, you should be able to take this panel off, which exposes the motherboard of the laptop. So um, here you can see that this laptop has a whopping uh, two gigabytes of uh, DDR2 RAM. Um, that's the CPU, and then there's uh, the GPU integrated on the motherboard. Okay, so uh, the existing CPU uh, in this laptop is a Intel Celeron dual core T1600. Uh, clocked at a whopping 1.66 gigahertz and it's uh, a dual core processor and uh, the one I'm going to be replacing um, it with is this um, Intel uh, T4500 CPU uh, dual core clocked at a whopping 2.3 gigahertz uh, quite the upgrade for this laptop um, and I'll show how much I got this for online I think it wasn't much it's was only about uh, five quid or so. Okay, so uh, what you're going to want to do is you we we can't access all of the screws. Um, so what we're going to want to do is want to go, do undo all of the screws uh, to take off uh, the back case of the laptop. And um, I've already taken the hard drive out because there are some other screws in here that you'll uh, want to take out. Okay, so now I've uh, cleaned the fans um, and just general dirt on um, inside the laptop, uh, we can now get to uh, taking off the heatsink. Um, so uh, there's one screw here which uh, holds on the GPU bit, and uh, then there's three that hold down the CPU uh, heatsink. So we'll undo all of them. Okay, now hopefully this will come out. Um, but it looks like we're going to have to uh, unscrew the fan as well um, because the heatsink uh, attaches um, to the fan. And then we can just unplug the fan. And uh, there we go. Out comes uh, the heatsink uh, assembly. Okay, so here is our... Uh, amazing CPU um, so we can now uh, take uh, the old one out so how you do this is you uh, rotate this um, little s screw until the purple uh, strip slides back and then you should be able to uh, carefully pull out the CPU so there we go there is our lovely old uh, CPU so on this laptop, uh, this socket is a socket P, I think. Um, so if you want to replace it, you need to make sure you get uh, the same size uh, socket or else uh, it won't fit. So now we can uh, carefully get our new CPU. Um, and uh, we can also pay attention to the arrow um, on here and the arrow on the CPU, which should line up. So then we can carefully drop that in and then rotate the screw obviously the opposite way to uh, lock the CPU back in okay so uh, as you can see on uh, here um, for the GPU and uh, this here which I'm not quite sure what it is um, these have got like thermal pads however on the actual CPU um, it's got some thermal uh, compound or thermal grease whatever you want to call it so uh, we want to clean that off so this should just uh, clean off easily um, it's uh, if you want to get this really clean then you can use uh, rubbing alcohol but I found uh, a wet tissue just seems to uh, 
do the job just to get it clean and uh, the CPU you've just bought should uh, normally be clean but if it still has thermal compound on it then you'd need to uh, take that off as well okay so now for reassembling it uh, what we're going to want to do is uh, put on some new uh, thermal compound um, so we get a good heat transfer between the CPU and uh, the heat sink um, so here I'm going to be using this uh, thermal grease that I bought off uh, eBay so what we want is a small blob on top of the heat sink like that and that's all we need and then um, we can push this down uh, and remount it so we need to follow the opposite steps so first I'm going to plug the fan in which is easier said than done so there we go, finally got that in and then I'm just going to remove this tape um, so we can stick the wire back down again. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to carefully um, push up down onto the CPU, um, making sure to uh, squash all of the thermal compound uh, evenly across the CPU. Um, and you can even wiggle it a little bit just to make sure that you've got a good um, connection. And then we can put all the screws back in. So there we go, that's the heatsink back down, and then we can just uh, reattach the fan. And then I can just use this uh, little piece of tape to uh, stick the wires back down for the fan. And I'm just going to make sure I haven't uh, missed any screws. Um, because it's quite hard to get the um, the back off again. Okay, so now uh, we've replaced the CPU, we can now uh, reassemble uh, the laptop. So here's the case, so we can uh, put that back on and clip it back into place. And then we need to reattach all of the screws. Just make sure you do um no screws or anything get trapped under the case because then that would mean that um, the motherboard could get shorted out and then that would destroy your laptop, which is uh, never a good thing. Okay, so now with that clip back together, we can put all the screws back in. Okay, so now we've put all the screws back in, uh, we can now put uh, the panel that covers the motherboard back in. Okay, and uh, so that's uh, the motherboard panel back in. Um, so now finally we can uh, replace our lovely hard drive. So we can place that back in. Like that. And then put the cover back in. Okay, so what actual uh, benefits has this uh, £5 CPU got us in terms of performance? Well, on the previous uh, CPU clocked at 1.66GHz, uh, this scored uh, 154 on a Bench, and uh, the new CPU uh, scored 210, so that's uh, just under a 30% improvement in performance, which may not seem a lot, but uh, that's all you need to get it from being 
a slow laptop to one that will do, obviously, uh, average things such as uh, browsing the internet because you don't need much more to be able to keep on top of all the applications running. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe. Bye.